So, we brewed beer the last couple of weeks and I had to keg it up, so I headed into our Concord retail store and when I was coming in, I was reminded it's rhizome season. It's time to buy those rhizomes to grow your own hops at home. So I thought I'd show you the setup that they have here. They grow them in half barrels. They'll train them up in the beginning, nice and easy, and then once they're really growing well, then they'll bring them all the way up to the top. They look awesome all summer long. You can watch them literally grow each day. And then at the end of the summer, we'll harvest them and make a fresh hopped beer. Tastes delicious. Can't wait to shoot it for you guys. All right, this week's free beer Friday kit of the week is randomly drawn from an unrandom and chosen thing is the, the Columbus IPA. And this beer is not focusing on the Explorer Columbus. This is focusing on the Hop Columbus. And this is one of my favorite old school West Coast style IPAs that we sell. Just absolutely delicious. And when all the hop shortages happened, Columbus was easy to get and this, this beer rocked it. So got us through that shortage. So if you want to win, click the link below or go to morebeer.com forward slash free beer Friday and enter the weekly giveaway. So in this week, we made a couple clips for you where we walk you through not only filling your keg, but carbonating. So enjoy the clips. All right, we've taken apart our keg, cleaned it, sanitized it, filled it back up, all the way up with sanitizer. Put my lid on. I don't try to close the lid yet. Put gas on there. Let the lid seat itself. Nice and easy to close afterwards. Make sure it's holding pressure and we're good to go. So we've had Sanitizer sitting in the keg for a couple of minutes now, and it's good and sanitary. So instead of opening the lid and pouring it out like I used to do, I'm just gonna simply put on a quick disconnect with the hose that fits over it, and just let the sanitizer run into the bucket under CO2 pressure. That way you're avoiding any airborne oxygen, as well as filling it with CO2, because what's going in it next is finished beer and we don't want any more oxygen. Okay, so we've cleaned and sanitized and now pushed out a majority of the sanitizer with CO2. Now I'm just going to get out the last little bits at the end by just flipping it over and pulling the pressure relief valve and that'll get rid of the last little bits of the majority. Okay, we're mid-transfer here and this is the major part of the closed system. You can see I have a line coming from my spigot to the end of my keg. And on the out of my keg, probably going a little overboard on this one, but I have the CO2 escaping through a tube into a bucket of water. You could probably just as easily use the pull valve and turn it to a twist open and leave it that way. I doubt it's gonna let much oxygen in. But on top of the carboy, I also put some tin foil and my sanitary air filter through the stopper so that the air that's coming in here as this displaces is clean and sanitary. All right, last steps before serving. We gotta carbonate this beer. A couple different ways we could do that. Today we're gonna go the easy route, the safe route. And we'll go over carbonation in another episode, but today we are gonna use STP, standard temperature and pressure. So we use a carbonation chart. We're gonna set this at 12 PSI. We're gonna put it on here and let it sit for seven days, nice and cold, probably about 36 to 38 and it'll carbonate perfectly in about a week. And it's that easy, so we're just gonna literally set it and forget it. All right, you watch to the end, you're getting the hang of this. Let's give away more stuff. So we're sitting on a lot of hops and we're selling them at incredible prices. We're not just giving away hops, we're giving away the good hops and we're selling at discount the good hops. I mean, Mosaic, Citra, Amarillo, you talk about all the ones that I love, they're for sale. So at Morbury, you'll see we have an awesome hop sale, but I thought let's give away more. So let's choose five winners and you each get an extra pound of hops. So enter our weekly giveaway and not only are you entered to win the kit, but you're also entered to win a pound of hops. Quick reminder, don't forget to enter our monthly giveaway, which happens to be torpedo kegs. Go to morebeer.com forward slash free beer Friday and enter the monthly giveaway. Thanks for watching. See you next Friday. Cheers.